over a thousand posts on the site, some of them repeats, I think. Um, there are very, there are few about Harry Bucknell, but I've sort of closed those <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've had over two million views in these uh, 11 years or so. The, the most popular things are um, uh, anything, actually, anything about the Devon shoes and Paddy. They are, uh, I suppose, there's, that, there's great interest in, in um, the Dutch of Devonshire, they Dutch of Devonshire itself, uh, and Paddy. So that's very interesting. Paddy's obituaries, and Artemis's one in the Independent, I think, it was, uh, is the top ranker there. Um, anything about the kidnap is always of interest. Uh, and, and believe it or not, Rick Stein's visit to Elpida and Sartling oh, Home yes. uh, is probably at number five uh, of all time. Um, <laughs> it was, it has. <laughs> she does, yes. Um, yeah. Lots and lots of oil. I suppose what pleases me most about the whole thing is keeping Paddy's memory alive, um, creating a bit of a community, and, and we see a manifestation of that tonight. Uh, and also being able to keep some of the names of the other SOE men uh, alive as well. Um, because they're really, I don't know, I, there are various fan sites and things, but so and, and I'm not particularly aware of those, but I think that's really important. Um, you know, people like David Smiley and Billy McLean, who are really fascinating characters, as, as, you, as you know. And my very first post was about Ralph Stockbridge, a man who you don't know a lot about, I'm sure Chris does, uh, but I think he was, uh, you know, he was one of the first into Crete, uh, and, and you know, who knows about Ralph Stockbridge, but he was my very first person, I don't know why, but he, he was, and he's still there. And of course, Billy Moss, uh, and it, it gives me great pleasure to, to, to be able to, to have material about Billy, and I was saying to Harry yesterday, last year I think it was, we received a photograph of, of your father, Sailing the southern seas, uh, helming a yacht. Nothing happened last year. Or the year before, I don't know. Time. It's a, but you know that that picture coming out of the blue after so many years. Um, that's what it's all about, really. Um, so the main purpose of this was really just to give you some thoughts about other people who are not here, who who who, who loved Italy. Um, and I just picked out a few of the posts that I opened up a sort of page uh, uh, when Paddy died. Uh, so the first one is from Margaret. <laughs> Margaret said, uh, and this is, this is, I mean, this is the day of, of Paddy's death. Margaret said, I dreamt about Paddy last night. Uh, when I woke, I tried to remember the dream, but of course she couldn't really accept uh, Erudite and Hanson. Um, but the, the trigger was that her Romanian husband was due to travel to Transylvania tomorrow. And every time we visit his parents' region, I try to match up the villages with what Paddy describes in between the woods and the water. So much has changed, but here and there, one catches a glimpse of what, the, what he saw. The castle looming over, uh, looming over Deva, uh, the wonderful wooded hills, and the flocks of sheep being guarded by shepherds with their huge dogs, which I've personally experienced chasing me around uh, Vishkri, actually. And Gary Pulsifer, who's in publishing, says, I'll never forget Paddy Leifema coming into our offices to dictate the forwards that they were counted by Miklos Banfi, written in longhand at Chatsworth. A brilliant piece of writing, as you'd expect, full of enthusiasm for Banfi's masterpiece about the disintegration of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. What a lovely guy. Um, Ian Stone. Paddy was a man who quite simply changed my life. There were discoveries that are milestones in our lives for me, girls, beer, Beethoven and Bach. Uh, but, <laughs> there we are. But not rock and roll. But PLF ten years ago was possibly my last. Having scored an innings just short of a century, leavened with masterful strokes, it would be futile only to grieve. A standing ovation as he raises his back to the pavilion May you find peace again with Joan and Paddy. Um, Maggie Rainey Smith, some of you may who, who visit the site may be aware of her. She she visited Paddy in um, 2007 on his name day uh, and was invited in to, for lunch. Uh, and she said, courtesy of the generous local people who included me in the invitation that he made each year to locals to join him at his home. I had a lovely time uh, with Paddy. My dad was on Crete with the New Zealand 22nd Battalion 
And it was a great honour for me to meet Paddy and his book on the Mali is indeed the finest piece of travel writing I have ever read. <clears throat> From Saford Ford in America, he directly influenced my life. I walked a fraction of what I did, but at 56, I walked from Towson, MD, where's that? This is Arizona, Maryland. 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 Towson, Maryland, to Princeton New, Princeton, New Jersey, a distance of about 120 miles. It took me about 15 days. I camped along the way, a wonderful experience, and without a time of gifts, I would not have thought of it. And I think that's, that's the sort of inspiration that, that, that Paddy does give to people even now, uh, and, and young people in particular. From India, Rehan Chowdhury. Alas, what a loss. Even living and being from India, a completely different part of the world, I could enjoy his writings and everything about him. I would always look forward to the blog newsletter in my inbox. Curiously, on the same day as Sir Patrick, in India we could never call someone of such a distinguished age and calibre as simply as Paddy. A very beloved and renowned but controversial artist of India, Mak uh, Makbul Fida Hussein, passed away too in London. He was 96 as well. Um, and one of uh, a Bollywood actress was remembering Hussein, uh, but uh, Rehan believes this could be applicable to Paddy. That all we felt that that we all felt that he had passed the age of passing and forgot to imagine that it would one day come to this. <laughs>